I'm going to show you 14 ways to get your 10,000 steps in a day. I'm Clint Grimes. Let's get started. Get a dog. Nothing will get you out of the house faster than a puppy that needs to do some business. Not sure if you can commit? Check your local animal shelter or pet rescue sites for foster home programs. You'll be doing your body and a homeless pooch a favor. The average American dog owner walks their dog for eight hours and 54 minutes a week, covering around 36 miles. Take the stairs. Climbing stairs is an example of practical, everyday physical activity that provides health benefits. It can also burn off calories, about 65 calories in 15 minutes. Going at a faster pace or carrying heavier items can burn even more calories. At work, at the mall, at the train station, anywhere. If you wear a fitness tracker, you'll score both steps and flights. Take a moving break at work. During your lunch break, go on a 15 minute walk around the block. Not only will you get your steps in, but you may feel more focused at work. And remember to get up frequently during the day, not just at lunch. A new study finds that five minute walks throughout the workday can lift moods, reduce lethargy, and improve overall health. Get a treadmill desk. Treadmill desks are a great way to incorporate more movement into normally sedentary scenarios or situations. Your low metabolism may be caused by your job rather than by your genes to the extent it has you sitting for hours on end. Check with your company to see if they provide treadmill desks for employees. Walking while you're typing takes some getting used to, but it's worth it. Park far away. Every couple hundred steps of walking to or from your car adds up quickly. Plus, if you park at the back of the parking lot, you'll save your car from dings and dents. By adding a too small to fail change to your existing routine, like parking at the outer edge of the parking lot, you'll be on your way to movement in no time. Plus, you'll experience some additional benefits you might not expect. Take the long way. When you're at work and need to go to the restroom, skip the closest one and take a detour. Hit the stairs and use one on a different floor, or just take the longest route there. The same goes for doing errands on foot or strolling to a friend's house. Walking for 30 minutes a day or more on most days of the week is a great way to improve or maintain your overall health. Take a post being walk. Put your shoes on after you put down your fork. Taking a 15 minute walk after dinner can help you digest your meal faster too. Research suggests that a short walk after eating helps manage a person's blood glucose or blood sugar levels. Moderate daily exercise can also reduce gas and bloating, improve sleep, and boost heart health. Get off the bus or train one or two stops early. Two birds, one stone. You'll help reduce carbon emissions and do your body good at the same time. After a while, you'll find that you don't feel as worn out when you arrive at work and can burn more energy than when you used to commute on public transportation. If you walk fast enough to raise your heart rate, temperature, and breathing, you can still reap the same kind of rewards as a run on the treadmill. Play with your kids. Hide and seek can run up to 10,000 steps alone. In addition to the positive physical benefits of play, play also is important for emotional and mental development. Play helps build confidence. Think of the boosts kids get when they go down the big slide or learn to pump on a swing. And play can teach them how to solve problems. Walk and talk. Take your business calls on the go, or skip the conference room and have walking meetings with your colleagues. Walking improves productivity, boosts energy levels, and enhances general well-being by incorporating regular movement and fresh air. 
Additionally, the space of the outdoors increases brain function, which can help stimulate creativity, innovation, and memory. Walk during commercials. Don't fast forward your DVR. Maximize your TV watching. The next time you binge watch The Walking Dead, don't fast forward during the commercials. Stand up and run in place. Do sit-ups, push-ups, lunges, or pick up stuff around the house until the zombies get walking again. That could be 12 minutes of exercise during an hour-long show instead of just sitting during the commercials. Drink up. You need lots of water anyway, and all those trips to the water cooler at work and to the restroom will make a big dent in your day's step total. Water makes up a large part of your joint cartilage that helps absorb shock and make bone against bone movement smoother. Water also can keep gout, a painful joint condition, at bay. It helps flush toxins from your body that could inflame your joints. Go on a walking date. It's kind of a throwback but there's something charming about taking a stroll, especially a sunset one, with your significant other. Walking during a date gets you moving and your blood pumping, which produces endorphins. Endorphins boost your mood and feeling good can help the date get off to a great start. Walking and being outside in nature puts you in a positive mindset. This enhances your overall mood and the way you might feel about someone. Take extra trips. When unloading grocery bags from the car or carrying laundry to the bedroom, it's tempting to try to make as few trips as possible. Instead, try taking one more trip than you absolutely have to. With all the technology and machinery available to move us around with the least amount of effort, it's easy to get in the why walk mode. You'll be surprised at how fast you'll hit your daily goal, whatever it is, when you use your feet for what they were meant to do. If you like this video, Give it a thumbs up and click on this video to learn how to introduce exercise into your weekly schedule. That's it. That's all. See you next time.